I'm doing a autumn cast collab with Sasha Space. She created this. There are several other simmers involved. I will link them all down below. Um, our idea was to create a mismatched couple that one likes fall, one is kind of out there, you know, doesn't, and somehow they end up together. So this is Bryce Meyer. He is my businessman. He is a corporate raider. He buys companies and merges them. Uh, he has been trying to turn this entire block of Sam Maishuno into a basically part of his corporation, but he's having a holdout. There's a Irish family that doesn't want to let go of their little pub, and it's also a coffee shop, and they're just refusing to sell to him, and they're the last ones on the block that he needs to get involved so he can take over. So he has decided that since he found out they have a young single daughter, he's going to try to romance her and see if he can get her to convince her parents to let go of the company. Now, Bryce is very shrewd. He's very cold. He doesn't do holidays. He doesn't do anything like that. He is very ambitious. He is a major CEO. Um, I apologize because some of this video will quit on making him because I didn't know I was out of video. So I had to go in and do some erasing to get the rest of it on here. So we'll kind of skip over to him um, going from his hair to his outfits. So Bryce is determined that he is going to get this little family pub. And he wants to basically, like I said, romance the daughter. He has no intention of staying with her. He doesn't even have any interest in her at all. He has no interest in forming a relationship with anyone really he is a corporate man he wants to be with his company he wants to do you know get further in life he's very ambitious he is determined that he is going to get this property because he really wants an office there and maybe even bring in a bigger coffee shop to take over the smaller one um there's just no room anymore for the smaller folks that are living in san maishuno the corporate, they're all coming in, they're taking over, and they just, the rich, you know, they just want to own everything, basically. Um, he uh, is going to meet his match, I believe. He is going to have to take on an adorable little Irish Spitfire, who we will see in a moment here. And being Irish descent myself, I know, you don't mess with these women. So, I do have to say, I appreciate the ability to do this collab this is really fun it took me a while to come up with the story but i finally got there and we're going to kick over to lena now and you're going to see lena kirkpat and kirkpatrick now she is the daughter of the family that he is trying to take over she is home from college and she's helping out in the family restaurant well pub restaurant however you want to look at it and she is determined that she is going to help her family out. Now, she has no idea why Bryce is interested in her, but she is a very happy-go-lucky girl. Um, as you can see, I do have a height thing, and I did make her shorter. I wanted to make her more petite and tiny. Um, <laughs> never trust a tiny Irish woman, <laughs> speaking from experience. But, um, so... I wanted to make her just kind of free. She's she's kind of hippie-ish. She's kind of very relaxed. She doesn't really get worked up about much. Um, her temper doesn't come out much. And she just can't figure out who this guy is that keeps coming into her little restaurant and wants to hang out with her, wants to do stuff with her, take her out on all these dates and romance her. And she's just kind of going with the flow because she's determined that she's going to win him over. She can tell that he doesn't want anything permanent and that he doesn't want to settle, but she's determined that she can be the one, that she's the one who's going to settle him down. So every time he gets riled up about something or he's upset about his business, she just kind of laughs it off and jokes around and gets him to relax a little bit. And her and Bryce kind of fall into a pattern. They meet in the spring and he spends the entire summer trying to kind of win her over. And he does take her out on dates. They do get close. And when fall hits, he's determined to get the place. And he doesn't really want to carry on through the winter. He's not the type to go through Christmas or the holidays and have a girlfriend and do all that stuff. So he really just kind of wants to let her go. But he doesn't know how to do it while he's still trying to get this building. Because he still hasn't gotten it. But he's starting to find that he doesn't want it as much as he did. He doesn't seem to want 
to devour up her little business. He kind of wants to join in her energy, her happy-go-lucky. Her, her, she's always bouncing. She's always doing different stuff and enjoying the weather. And as the fall hits, she's your typical pumpkin spice girl. She's got to have her coffee and she's got to have her treats. She wants her donuts. She goes apple picking. She drags into pumpkin patches. And he's starting to find that he's starting to enjoy this. And more and more, his company is trying to figure out if he's ever going to win over this place. And he keeps holding them off and holding them off. And he's not even sure why he's doing it anymore. He just knows that he's very happy where he's at. And he doesn't really care to mess up anything, really. So, without him even knowing it, he's starting to fall for Lena's charms. He's starting to actually sit down and drink a coffee with her. Read the newspaper with her. He's spending nights with her. He takes her out to different places. He actually goes for walks in the park with her, which is something he never had time to do before. So she is winning him over, and he is letting go of his dream of taking over her area. He's determined that he wants it, but he can't even figure out why he wants it anymore. And part of him wants to keep her in his life. He knows that he doesn't want to go without her. He knows that she is everything to him. And he's reached a point where the idea of the fall coming and him moving on and leaving her behind just doesn't sound good anymore. It doesn't make him happy. It doesn't make him really want to do any of it. And the last thing he wants to do is hurt this restaurant now and to hurt her family because he's really grown to love the entire crew. He's really gotten to where he blends right in with them. And they're not dumb. They knew what he was up to. They knew he was coming in wanting to buy their place because he never was shy about it. And yes, her parents worried. They worried that she was going to get heartbroken and that she was going to be basically wrecked by this guy. But Lena's not that kind of girl. She's not going to let anybody wreck her. She's going to come in there. She's going to take over. And she's going to come in like the wrecking ball. And basically get her own way because that's who she is. And she doesn't see the negative in anything. Even though she knows what he was up to, she can forgive it because she cares about him. And she is so determined to win him over that she is just going to go for it. So without him even realizing it, Bryce is falling in love with her. And he finds himself starting to think about not just picking pumpkins and things like that with her, but having a family, having a future, having a home, instead of a dusty old penthouse where he's by himself all the time. He's starting to picture what life would be like with her in it. And the different things that they could do and what even a child would look like something he's never even pictured in his life and it's killing him because he doesn't know where this is coming from this isn't his personality it isn't how he was raised he was raised in a very strict family where basically money was god because he is a money maker he is mysterious he he is ambitious but like i said she is um she has one of the new aspirations i found that is living life on a whim and she lives it day by day. She does everything day by day. She doesn't really plan. She doesn't really have an idea what one day to the next is going to be. She just goes and does it. Like right there, there's life on a limb. And then she's creative. She's a genius. Or she um, loves the outdoors. She's cheerful. She is adventurous. And she's a darling. Which is, yes, these are brought in here. But there's Lena. And Lena in all of her glory and all of her outfits. Um, I happen to think she's absolutely adorable. I probably will end up using her and not just using her for this video. But uh, yeah, so this girl has totally won the heart of the corporate raider and totally kept her family business afloat in the meantime. So there they are now, happy as heck. He gave in, they decided to buy a little cabin in Newcrest and they're happy there. They're enjoying the fall together and playing in the leaves. So thanks for watching. Um, catch the other videos if you can. I'll try to link everybody down below. And I appreciate everyone who watched this today. I hope you enjoyed the little story. And definitely make sure you give the other ones a watch. Thank you.